Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a general population report like this so you can dominate the field that you're playing against and beat those random players that you don't really get statistics from. So this is very good for instance uh, uh, spin and go players, mm, heads up players, heads up sit and go players and uh, fast fold zoom poker type of cash game players where they're facing a lot of random villains that they really don't get you don't really get uh, good uh, statistics to look into so let's dive into creating the report so we obviously go to the my report section and uh, we choose the volume, so here we have all games, all dates, and for this I will pick the 5 euro expressos that I'm playing currently. And we start a new report. Yes, this was just like this, and we do an all player report. We give it a fancy name, general population, uh, pre-flop report. Add the common stats to the report and finish up. So now we have all the players here. We look at the hands. We have the hero player here too, which will obviously uh, make this useless because the volume my hands are bringing into the statistics will ruin the general population tendencies. So we need to get rid of hero stats. We go to the filters, we add a new simple filters, and we go to the hand details. From here, you will find a player is hero, you put it on and add to the filters. And as we're not interested on the hero stats, we click on the hero and put on the not selected tab, save and apply filters, and voila. Now we have GP report with general population players only the villains are included. Uh, quickly we can look into the hand, re hand amounts and we will find the regs which you can then obviously look into from uh, player search and look how they're playing. If you have not noted them that's a great way to find them and note them. But let's get on with creating the report. We go here and we start with the VPIP and uh, we'll add that and then we do a pre-flop raise and we add that and then we can obviously do a limp and we do a pre-flop limp and we do a pre-flop limp fold and a pre-flop limp call then we can do a three bet and we do a pre-flop 3-bet and we do a fold versus pre-flop 3-bet here. Okay, so now we have a basic statistics for pre-flop analysis. Of course you can add more, uh, whatever you want and then like I said you could make a pre-flop report like this and then you could make another uh, general population post-flop uh, report. So you will add all kinds of post-flop statistics so it's easier to look into them instead of having them all in this report and you having to scroll them sideways. So uh, now let's look into the analy analyzing part of this report. Of course First, we can save the report. I'm not clicking because it's going to take some time and PT4 is going to be offline for a second. So we'll have more time quicker to do it like this. So we can look that we have 25k hands from all the villains. Uh, their uh, average VPIP is 55.79, so 56. Uh, they only raised 27% or 28%. But they limp 31, almost 31%. Uh, so this is uh, pretty good information. But then the good information begins here. They limp fold 53%. So when they limp and they get raised, they more more than uh, half the time they fold. 
uh, obviously the rest of the time they call but you can see that being aggressive against limps will actually make you money in the long run uh, then we have three bet preflop uh, which is uh, which is uh, also very highly weighted on the value side so if their range is 16 percent what that they uh, three bet with we're looking at mostly value hands and they also fold 50 percent versus three bet on preflop so that is also good information so you could three bet them a bit more lighter than you probably would because these guys are folding more than they're calling and then we can look more into the regs and see what's cooking there so here we can see the guys i have most hands with they uh, they tend to for instance three bet more uh, than the general population so versus these regs i would call lighter than versus randoms because i would generally think that the random player is three betting most likely uh, value uh, value range so i would not call versus uh medium holdings versus uh, uh random three betting but maybe versus these regs i could call a tad lighter so this is a great way to find out what the players that are randoms and you don't really have any good statistics for. Uh, you can adjust your gameplay. And for instance, this is telling me that when the random person is uh, three betting, I would more than likely fold the weaker holdings. Or if I call, I know that I'm against mainly a value side of Thing when the post flop hits so I would not be getting it in with the medium holdings if there are higher cards on the on the board for instance something like this uh, and then if you think about post flop you could do a post flop report where you have uh, like C bet fold to C bet uh, barrel turn barrel river call river race and all those kinds of things that will obviously give you a lot of uh, good statistics from the random players. So, uh, I hope you learned easily how to make a report like this. I hope you gave you an idea how to look into these statistics and how to analyze them and maybe add tools to your own game, especially versus random players. Uh, please comment what you think of the video and and this Poker Tracker 4 Essential series in general. Uh, please leave a like if you like this video. And I would really like if you would uh, subscribe to my channel because I would like, love to see it grow. I'll get more motivation to put in more uh, time and value, value videos out for you guys so we can learn together and beat these random guys at their own gameplay. So without more babbling, I wish you very good luck at the tables and as always, have fun.